The most commonly used cuts of ginger are grated brunoise and julienne. Both julienne and brunoise start by removing the peel of the ginger with a sharp knife to square off the edges. You can save the peel for flavoring stocks or sauces. After squaring off the sides, remove the scraps of peel from around the edges, then stand the ginger up on one cut face and using the tip of a sharp knife, cut it into thin planks about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch thick. Next, stack three or four of the planks together. To cut brunoise for things like stir fries, make a series of parallel cuts using the very tip of your knife through all four of the planks, making sure to leave them connected at their top edge. The cuts should be about the same width as the planks. Rotate the planks 90 degrees and cut across your parallel cuts to get fine cubes of ginger. If you want ginger to take a more dominant role in your dishes, a julienne cut is the one you should use. Start the same way as with the brunoise, then after stacking the planks, cut across them completely to create fine matchsticks. To grate ginger for marinades and dressings, start by peeling off the section you'll need. The best way to do this is with a spoon. The skin should scrape clean away. Rub the skin section over a microplane grater or a box grater until you have as much grated ginger as you need.